All right, today I'm taking a look at the Sony Voice Recorder. Now this is a basic MP3 voice recorder that says it does a thousand hours of recording. Uh, go and do a little unboxing, test it out, come back and let you know what I think about it after I've played with it a tiny bit. But let's take a look at what comes with it and you know early impressions of the device. Uh, first thing I'll tell you is it is well packaged. It is very securely in there. <laughs> Here we go. Let's uh, take a look at this. Now, right here is the actual device itself. Pretty straightforward. Um, right here's the little battery pack door right in the back. Not a lot to say about that. I do like that it's not a built-in internal battery. I deliberately bought one without that because I wanted the ability to uh, swap batteries on the road. I'm taking this to CES with me to do recordings for the podcast. Um, walking around the, um, the show floor for a few days. I didn't want to risk running out of power, having to plug in the wall, wait for it. I just want to grab a couple batteries out of my back pocket and go with it. Um, so stop, play. You can play back. Does have a speaker right here, a nice big one. At the top here is the microphone, uh, headphone jack, and external. Uh, microphone if you want to put a lapel mic on it. it does have a uh, USB plug right there to transfer it to your computer uh, the SD memory one micro if I remember right right here on the side correct micro um, which is nice expand the memory you can hold hold it lock it power it on and off right here on the side does have I'm not sure you zoom in on this There we go. It does have a little clip there for a strap, if you really want a strap. Uh, T-Mark, folders, all kinds of nice little features. Volumes back here you can erase. A, B, noise cancellation on and off. I hope that works pretty well. Let's see what else is inside the packet here. So, first thing you have is your, um, your manual. Oh, pretty elaborate, nothing really fancy here. Oops, I accidentally ripped that. Uh, batteries, two AAAs are included. Here's the data cable connected to your computer to remove files and the actual uh, device itself. So that is everything. Right here is your warranty card on it too. So yeah, you know, it feels good. Feels good quality in the hand. A lot of these, sometimes you play around with them and they just don't feel good quality. This one does. Um, and it feels like it could easily fit in, the po in my uh, pants pocket, in my cargo pants, or even jeans. So easy to carry around, micro USB. Yep. So overall, good initial impressions. Feels like good bond placement. The record button is recessed a little bit there, which should make it... Um, a little easier to avoid accidentally bumping that. So overall, good first impression. I'll come back a little later and give you my um, opinion after using it. Okay, so I've been playing around with it for a little while now, I've been impressed. Very easy to use. Uh, good built-in speaker. The buttons seem to be pretty well placed. Um, the only downside, and it's something that I've had on previous voice recorders too, is of course, you know, when you press the button and you move, if you move your hand like this, at all while you're using it, it will record that sound and it comes through pretty clearly. So you really want to kind of get a good grip on it, hit the record, because if you don't and you do this, when you stop it, you get that sound. Let's do that again. Yeah, if you get a good grip on it, you hit record, you talk, 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 you know, you always want to leave a moment at the end of a speech so that you can edit out any sounds if you're doing this for a podcast or whatever. You hit record, you talk, talk, talk. You know, you always want to leave a moment at the end of a speech so that you can edit out any sounds if you're doing this for a podcast or whatever. See, there's just a slight click there as so it hears the button being pressed. So, overall, good Easy setup. I, you know, I was plugged into my Windows PC, and the computer instantly recognized it, displayed the files as uh, audio, and it was all set. So, yeah, highly recommend it. Uh, setting the time and date on it's easy. Shows up. 
Uh, power on and off is really quick. It's powering off. Powering back on. There you go, it's ready to record. So if you need something where you got, you're recording, you whip it out, get sound real quick, it's a good little recorder at a good price. I paid about $100 for my last one, but that was a stereo. This is mono. You know, that's not a problem for me because we release our podcast in mono anyways. Um, so, yeah. Uh, noise cancellation on off. Let's try this out with it on real quick. Can I move the device around? It still gets that. But it does seem to do a good job with fan noise and other background noise removing that. So overall, highly recommend it. Easy to use, easy to set up. I do like that it does have an internal power. I do like that it has an external cable. Well, it's a cable to carry. So some of them have like a USB plug at the bottom here. You plug it directly into the computer. With laptops, sometimes I've had issues trying to get it in there, get it um, set properly. Or if you have it sitting on your lap, you know, it kind of dangles fun and you can disconnect. Um, having a cable just seems a little simpler. Throw it in my backpack that I carry around where I go through shows and stuff. So nice, easy to use, um, and works very well. Five out five. Questions, comments, leave a review or a, a comment or a YouTube review. Otherwise, uh, go buy it. You can find an Amazon link on our show notes. Thank you for watching this video.